the economy. Confidence. Publicly expressed anger. Weak prime ministers. The cost of living crisis. Poverty. The level of competence in the government. Lack of understanding. <laughs> Clearly the main one is the economy and the obviously the cost of living crisis. Uh, we obviously need to get a grip on that. Uh, obviously, you know, because with a booming economy and econ an, an economy that's only up, obviously everything else can improve in life. I think the biggest challenge that we have is that we, this country is effectively ungovernable. We've had a media that has been able to remove a Prime Minister that got an 80-seat majority and now a media that has managed to pressure a U-turn within weeks of a really, really important budget. You know, we can't even make, with an 80-seat majority, we can't even make the most basic of reform in returning the tax rate to, to 40%, which is what it was under, under most of Gordon Brown's tenure, only changed towards the end. Um, and if we can't get that through, the country is in, in, is in essence ungovernable. The number one problem is probably the cost of living crisis and the soaring energy prices that no one can afford at the moment, considering there's hardly any hours to be have at jobs anyway. There's a gap and it's widening between the richest society and the, the lowest members of society. Uh, and the tax cuts and all the tax they've been talking about in the last few weeks have helped nothing. The problem is that people haven't enough confidence that we're going to get it right. If people think the Conservatives are going to get it right, they'll put their shoulders to the wheel, get working properly and stop complaining about things. That's the main thing. The biggest problem, I think, in the country at the moment is the government has shown a, a level of incompetence, whether or not you agree with their ideology. That's very worrying for the country. I think the Chancellor with the mini budget was on the right course. Um, I know the mini budget caused a fair amount of controversy. Well, I guess just the right tax brackets should be a nice start to it and not focus on making the rich richer and the fact that trickle down economics really doesn't work. One can only hope for the sake of the country that things settle down a bit more after this, but I'm not hopeful, I have to say. The fact that the government's already U-turning, it's not a good sign. Weak governments governing by opinion polls is what got this country into the crisis we're in and it's not what's going to get us out. I think really the time has come for a general election. Uh, we can't go on like this and I think it's for the public to decide then whether they want to continue with the way we are or we give someone else a chance. I think people don't take the time to uh, understand each other and uh, have like an honest and mature conversation about things. People are increasingly polarised, increasingly have no inhibitions either uh, at demonstrations or on social media uh, by being really violent, making violent threats. I feel like things would be a lot better so people just understood, talked and loved more. I think that would be a lot better.